right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. Welcome back, guys, and welcome back to Matthew 2. We're on uh, part three. We've just seen Mike, and we've stolen a car. So hopefully we'll go back and see him again at some point. To steal some more cars. So let's get in, and... Uh, I have been looking forward to playing this game. I can tell you that much. Right, so what we got to do? Go back to Joe's, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys are, are well. And staying safe. With this bloody lockdown malarkey. We're in lockdown at the moment. In the UK. But it's not too bad. Right, hello officer. We were going to try actually to see... the highway, Vito. I was going to say, we were trying to see if we speed where the cars, where the police car right. chases us all off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Uh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's Don't all going to be a piece oh. of cake. Yeah, so what do you think of Mafia 2? So, compared uh, to Mafia it's a story 1. With Bruce Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. You believe that shit? That Sounds like a kind of scumbag. Hey, you just got to know how to handle these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys <laughs> I met since you shipped out. You'll see. Um, I've turned hey, the quality up to, place to park around here. I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Right. No, I was saying I put, I've um, I put the quality settings up to like maximum, just to see what I can do. I'm still stuck at 60 frames. Right, park in the garage. Oops. Oh, is this how the car? Is this what we just got? Oh, love it! I love it. Samsung Drifter. Is this the one we had in Mafia One? Right. So it's basically hold X to change car and just a quick click just to park car yeah so I've got it in um, maximum settings and I tell you what it's it's definitely sharper it looks good it looks really good right then Joe what are you doing I'll open the door again then mate <laughs> yeah no, I was saying earlier what, what do you think if you played Mafia 2 Mafia 1 and Mafia 3 even what what which one do you prefer out of the three Billy Brown lives there I can't remember where Joe lives. Is it upstairs? It's upstairs. I haven't played this for a couple of days. I love the fact you can even open the window. It's like little details, you know? Little details like that. I will sit further up. Joe? Your abode? We'll take it we're going to sleep here tonight. Sly Sante lives there. Anyway. Here we are. Is is our... Oh no, it's not our place. Where's our place, Joe? Why, I've lost where we live. Was it this one here, wasn't it? Joe, Joe, where'd you live, mate? <laughs> oh, here we go. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. Okay, open the fridge and take some. Food. You're hungry, Vito. Take whatever you want from the fridge. Okay, eat and drink and heals injuries. Okay, this place is a actually it's a big shit hole, isn't it? You could do with a cleaner or something. Let's right, have some drink. Well, we got them. We got some um, beer. Is that lager? Oh, it's beer. Bottle of beer. Let's have a look. What else has he got? Bottle of cola. Classic ham and cheese. Wow, well, it's got to be a beer, hasn't it? Hey. Eh? And it heals injuries. Do you have a beer? Your health has been replenished to maximum. All right. So we got to keep our eye out for um, magazines. Crash on the kitchen couch to get some sleep. All right, we'll do that. I guess. See you later then, Joe. It's 
It's not even the evening, is it? Oh, there's another magazine there. Achievement locked home, sweet home. All right, okay. Chapter three. Enemy of the state. So I wonder when we join the mafia. Joe's apartment, February tenth, nineteen forty-five. February tenth. I've been keeping track of the, the dates. Answer the phone. New artwork unlocked. Right, where's the phone? Oh, here we go. Here's the phone. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. <laughs> and whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. How can you lie to it? Your own mama. She ain't gonna be happy about that. Oh, we are. So I thought. Okay, we are seeing uh, Mr. Papalado. Go to the Southport docks and see. Oh, we should get changed first, shouldn't we? Rather than going in our um. And where's our wardrobe? Is there a wardrobe anywhere? Are we just gonna go in? Come on, we're not just gonna go like this, are we? Surely not. Change your clothes. Find them in the wardrobe. Yeah, where's where's our wardrobe? Oh, here. This is our wardrobe here. Okay. Right, okay. Must just wear the old leather jacket. Play it cool. Play it cool. Or should we wear a suit if we're going for a job interview? All right. Oh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. <laughs> you see what she's doing? She was um peeking for that letterbox. Nosy cow. Okay, now. As does the army. If you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna force. call the cops. If you'd like a front seat to action and excitement. Brilliant. Be sure to see your army air forces recruiters so that you I love it. When I was playing Mafia One, I was kinda of saying, you know, it's no GTA five. And the reason I said it's no GTA five, because on GTA five you go around the map with things that are happening all the time. Um This is exactly what's happening in Mafia Two. Things are happening which you can just it's it's what what's the word I'm looking for? It's um you feel more immersed in the in the in the game. So we could have gone the back <laughs> we could have gone the back way. I'm not sure why we took this way. Put this one here, right over the garage. Okay, we're not having that piece of crap. We are having this piece of crap. So at the moment we can't change the colour of it or anything. I suppose we do that when we get to if we get to the uh, the garage. Right. How fast can this go? Samson Drifter. So I wonder if this is the car we had in Mafia 1. Oh, it sounds beautiful, doesn't it? Is that copper chasing us? No. Oh, this sounds really good. Oh my goodness, don't crash it. No, smashed the car already. Actually, we haven't smashed a car. Right, so we got to go to the where we got to go to the um, the shipyard, is it? Right. Oh, where's the ship? Should we? Um. Oh no, I won't bother. I was going to get my I was going to get the car changed, color and that, but the thing is, I'll have to pay for it this time. Hunters, po Hunters Point Port, that's where we go in. It does seem quite a big map, to be fair. Let's have a quick look at the map a second. So we haven't really got the countryside, like on Mafia 1. Oh, God, we got to go right down here. Are we going on the high? Ah, oh, we're going on the highway. Okay, I guess I'll see you there. Right, we are speeding now, and we're going to speed past this cop. Will this cop chase us? In pursuit of a speeding yeah. vehicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is, he is. Brilliant. Copy Brilliant. That. I love it. There's no way to catch us up in this thing. <laughs> See you later, cop. Okay, what speed are we going? We're going to 20 miles an hour. Yeah, this is a beast of a car, this one. 
Right, we nearly there. Oh, it's a scene, eh? Lovely. Oh, God. Oh, let's have a look at the sea quickly. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks really awesome. Right, don't crash. Right, here we go. We are at the city port. Asking for a job. Which we don't really want. Let's get out. So, it'll keep Mama happy anyway. If we, um, at least pretend we're going to go for a job. Even if we don't get it. It's probably a prick anyway, I expect. Close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Leo My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. He's right, a prick, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now, Scram, my steak's getting cold. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Uh, I wonder if we can end up shooting him at some me. point. <laughs> Right, see you later then, Lardo, Derek, whatever your name is. Oh, what's that uh, cog in there? There's a door. Is that a safe? Should we open it? No, it's a, it's a cog there. I don't know what that cog is. Right, okay, sorry. Where's, where's, uh... What's his name? Is his name? Is it Steve? I can't remember what they said now. Pipes for sale here. But they were all the rage in my when my dad was a youth. Pipes. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. What truck? Oh, okay, that truck there. Okay, do I just got to do it by hand? I got to do all of them. Well, I've seen about twenty minutes then. <laughs> we have to have to do all of them, do we? Surely not. Something's happening. The door is opening. The door is open. Leave when you've had enough. Um. Let's do a few more. Right, I've done three. I've had enough. You know, it's one thing doing it in real life, but doing something like that in game, it's a bit boring. Right, door is open. Leave when you've had enough. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit, nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Right. Okay. Come into the back room. Come into the secret room. I wonder if you did more crates, you'd get an achievement or something. I was gonna do it, and I thought, oh. after three, I was like, no, that's enough. I've had enough. Well, I did three anyway. That's, that's better than two. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? That's what I said. You'll have to explain <laughs> this one to me, sonny boy. 
What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss, I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Um... Oh, okay. Seems a bit dodge. Unless they, unless they need, unless you Joe's an enemy. Not be home. That wouldn't be good. It's like an enemy of theirs. But Joe is an enemy. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. I can't believe how deep their voices are. Like, they've either smoked, like, a hundred cigarettes a day, um, right, okay, let's uh, just, I don't know why I'm checking around here for, I've already checked around here once. Um, who are we checking out? There's people down here. Oh. Must might be that guy down here. Right, we got to give this guy a haircut. Pop up ten bucks. Where is he? Oh, it must be him there. Oi. Maybe it's you, is it? I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. I was just coming to pay. Actually, he's pretty good barber. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Okay, thank you. Um, we've done that. Have we got anyone else to talk to now? Talk to him? Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Again? I don't even go to the damn barber. Here, you give it to the Robin son of a bitch. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Right, anyone else need a haircut? Uh, anyone else has a haircut? Here, one of them's gonna get faced, isn't he? Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. You've got the wrong guy, pal. My wife cuts my hair. Yeah, that's sweet. But while you work here, you get a haircut when Derek says. Push him around, make him pay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll just push him around then. Push him around. Oh. Okay, okay, enough already. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you Thank decided you. to reconsider. Right. I knew he'd be trouble. Sat up hey, there pal. like that. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said Maybe. it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Right. 
Oh, I love it. Come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you did it well then. Oh. Right, it's going to give him a big uppercut when he gets up. I think he's dead, isn't he? Oh, no. Oh, he's good there. Oh, he's good. Oh, he's good. <laughs> it's going to be a little jab. Oh. You down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, I should have done it. Oh, I, did, I took, didn't take the opportunity, did I? I still don't know what my half is. I guess that green bar is. Or whatever colour it is. Right, come on, stay down, that's it. Right, do the speech then, Vito. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Yeah, so we're just in lockdown this week. or well, last week we started lockdown. And last week we were due the hairdressers. So, uh, I'm going to have to cut my own hair at some point. So anyway, let's go back to Derek. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. Taking his time to I eat watch that you steak. take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Uh, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The I'm guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. Did he say fifty dollars? Did he? Fifty dollars? We should have got. I say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. But we still need two Vito, grand, don't I we? I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Okay, drive to Freddy's. Another achievement unlocked. He who pays the barber. Right, okay. How do we get out of here? Right. So, Mama, be pleased. You've got a job it with Derek. So, I'm guessing this place we've got to go to now, was it, what is it? Fredders? Frankies? Is maybe like some sort of pub? Or bar? Oh, it's quite far away. Yeah, it's a bar. Look, Fredders Bar. Okay, this be fun. I'm hoping they have um, a pool table in there. Because they had a pool table in Mafia 1. I'm not going to keep comparing, guys. I apologise. I'm you get sick of it now. But, uh, oh, they're all running away from my shitty driving. Sorry. Yeah, they had, the, they had the pool table in Mafia 1, but you couldn't bloody play it. Or could you play it? I don't think you could. Oops. Oh, it's copper there. Right, okay. Well, it's probably going to be a boring drive, so I will see you. At the pub, at the bar. I think we're pretty much here now. Oh god, that drive, by the way, was beautiful. It was so um, picturesque with the snow falling and people have got their lights on the car, or some of them have. Right, should we just park here? Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, I saw it. Yeah, I'm just trying to park here. Right, that's it. Oops, wrong button. Yes. Right, this is Freddy's Bar. Oh, it's an Italian bar as well. Okay, brilliant. Let's go in and... Um... Yeah, the sound is really good. Before we uh, speak to... Oh, is there, there's a pool table here. Can we play it? Put a bit of music on. I want to see if I can get every video uh, copyright striked. <laughs> oh. Copyright claimed. Uh, right. Um, let's go upstairs then. Um. 
I guess he's upstairs. Hey, where the hell you been? I Getting came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shut off. Yeah, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? How are you, Joe? This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Where's the address? Tell her I say. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. Right, so we can get a piece. Have we actually got a piece? How do I look at see what I don't even know how? I might not see what I got. Right, it's just mouse wheel. We can't actually check my inventory though. Oh, is a copper. What's this guy here? Okay, so we got to go to this lady's house, this girl's house, Sam. Okay, take care. Oh, where is she on the map? Okay, she's only over there. Drive to Maria and Anganelu's place in Little Italy. All right. Let's go and get, get into our car. No one's stolen it, which is a good thing. Oh, this, this car sounds awesome. Do you think we'll need a piece or not? I think we've already got a piece on us from last time. Joey gave it, gave it to us. How much petrol we got? Is that a light coming on there? I can't tell how much petrol we got there. Only because I saw a petrol station back there. I wonder if we needed to fill up. Right, let's go. Where are we not far now? Or do we get done by the cops? There's a sneak up there. I keep hearing voices again, again, because I said uh, last episode the fact that it's so alive. You just, I want to, I don't want to miss things as well. Like on the last episode, I don't know if I put it in the um, final like cut. But I saw somebody slipping in the ice on his ass. Which I thought was brilliant. Okay, so she's here. Let's just park nice or a little bit further. Right, that do. Let's get out. Um how'd you, how'd you get into her apartment? Oh here we go. Right, okay, also behind here. Big pile of coal. Right, open the door. Or we can kick open the door. Check the door signs to find Maria's apartment. Okay. What's that I was saying? I can't see that. Oh my god, that's tiny. I can't read that one. R H Ladic. Right. Oh here it, Marino. Here we go, knock on the door. Or should we kick the door down? You? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right. Tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're going to be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. 
All right, drop off Maria at the hospital up town. We will do that on the next episode, guys. This game's brilliant, by the way. If you haven't played it, I expect most of you played it, you watch it. But if you haven't played it, it's fantastic. So thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you haven't subbed yet, uh, please subscribe. And uh, I hope I will see you on the next episode. Cheers, guys. Take care.